Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt from Matt and Rice TV, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 7 computer look like a Mac. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a system restore point. So just go to your start menu and search create a restore point. And it would show up right here, so just click on that. So now you'll see you have this. Just click on create point and then just type in win to Mac. Alright, then hit create. So it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once it's finished, it'll say the restore point was created successfully. Just hit close. Then click OK. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is go back to your start menu and type UAC. And make sure you set it to never notify. Because if you do, the program won't work. And then just click OK. And the last thing you want to do is go to your start menu and right click on computer because you need to see what bits you're running so you know what skin pack to download. So in order to find what bit you're running, go to your start menu, right click on computer, and hit properties. And right here it'll say system type, 64-bit operating system. So if I was watching this video, I would download a 64-bit, the 64-bit pack, which is right here. But before you extract the pack, you want to take this Win to Mac archive that you download in the description. This is universal, which means it works on anything. So just right click and hit extract files. Then go to your desktop and then click OK. You'll be greeted with this folder. What you're going to want to do is you want, you'll have Icon Packager 4.2 and Desktop Backgrounds. In order to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is change your desktop background. It'll probably change after the transformation, but for now, just set it so you get the Mac feel. So what you want to do is just find the background you like. I like this one, the Snow Leopard X. So just right-click on it and hit Set as Background. Now you can just uh, hit back on this, and as you can see, you have a nice-looking background. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is open up Icon Packager 4.2, and go to Icon Packager. Then you want to install the EXE. So this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so after it's prepared the installer, just hit Next. I accept. Next. Next. And then hit Next, and it'll install. Okay, so once the installer is finished, what you want to do is you want to uncheck Run Icon Packager Now and then just hit finish. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is want to go to the cracked folder. And then you want to take the icon packager from here, copy it, and just go back on this so you get back to this. And then go to your C drive, program files, find stardock, which is right here, so find stardock, object desktop, and go to icon packager. Now what you want to do is right click and hit paste, but make sure it doesn't go into anything. So then just hit paste. And now hit copy and replace. And now just run icon packager from here. So just double click on it. So just, so just leave icon packager open for now. And just minimize it. Now what you want to do is you want to take the icons folder, open it, right click on iWindows 7 version 2, copy it, go to your documents, and paste it here. And never ever delete it. So now it'll be right here. So now you can just X out of this. Go back to icon packager, hit add icon package, install from disk. Then go to your Documents folder, and right here, iWindows 7. Open the folder up, and select the iWindows 7 right here. Just double-click on it. And now it'll, it'll um, just change so it looks like this. 
Now hit apply eye compact. And then just just check this box and click OK. So it'll restart. Okay, so now your icons should look a little different. So um now what you want to do, you can just close out of eye contact here. And you can close out of this too. And now the next thing you want to do is rearrange your icons to look more like a Mac. So what a Mac has is it like has the recycle bin here and then the hard disk drives. And then just take all your programs that you want to move over. Because the Mac's programs are on the other side. So then just do rearrange everything. Like this. And Mac icons are a little bigger. So hit the control on your keyboard and scroll up so your icons get a little bit bigger. Right here is about a good size. Except for the fact that the recycle bin went down here. So just rearrange everything so it looks more like a Mac. And there. So now it should look something like this. And now, the next thing you want to do is take the Leopard Skin Pack 64 or 32, it depends what system you're running. And before you do this, you want to save all your open documents. Because this is going to want to reboot your computer. So just right click on it, hit Extract Files, and hit Desktop, and then click OK. And it'll just extract. Okay, so once it's extracted, you'll have this. It's a little EXE thing. What you want to do is run it. And then this will come up. And now this will come up. What you want to do is you want to hit next. I accept. Next. And then do custom installation. And you want to do is get rid of this and this. And hit next. And now what you want to do is you want to uncheck um, wallpaper because you have a wallpaper. And then everything else just leave checked and um, just click on install and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so after the transformation, your computer will look a little something like this. Now, I've already changed the uh, rocket dock to look to my liking as you'll notice my icons are a little bit bigger and there's less on the desktop and um, there's my libraries my downloads folder Camtasia power ISO Adobe After Effects it's only the dream waiver thing because After Effects was not a choice pretty really freaking gay <laughs> alright so um in order to change an icon, what you would do is you would like right click on it. So for example, let's say I want to change the dashboard. Nah, let's say I want to change um, my downloads icon. You go to icon settings, right click on it and go to icon settings and you'll be greeted with this dialog box. Just change it to whatever you would like. So. Um, Here's a cool looking little downloads thing, so I'll just choose that, and then just click OK. So now you have a downloads icon, a different one. And I'm just going to get rid of the download shortcut on my desktop, and rearrange it again. So, yeah, so this is the basics of your brand new Mac looking computer. Yeah, this is basically a computer that looks exactly like a Mac. Now there's one more thing you need to download in the description below, called Left Cider. Basically, this will put your buttons on the left side. See, right now they're on the right side, just like a regular Windows computer. So, 
open up your downloads folder and find the left sider, which is right here. Just right click, hit extract files, and just extract it to your desktop and click OK. And just X out of this. You'll have an internet shortcut, just delete the shortcut. And now you have this thing, a folder called left sider. Just double click on it. And voila, your buttons are now on the left. So now whenever you open a folder, your buttons will be on the left just like on a Mac OS X. So thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make your Windows 7 computer look like a Mac. I'm Matt from Matt and Race TV, and I approve this message. Welcome to our world.